simply put, we, we've never had so many potentially you know, disastrous risks, but we also have such, a, such an obvious uh, pile of practical solutions that can take us towards a sustainable future. And you know, the, the very uniqueness of that uh, agenda of hope is that for the first time we can say with, with a lot of proof that that journey of hope is not only about taking responsibility for the environment, it's actually about creating a better future. It's, it's, a, it's a healthier, more beneficial, uh, you could even term it a, just in terms of conventional economics. It is uh, very clear that if we go business as usual, we will start losing both economic growth and profit and human well-being and thereby jobs. But if we go the sustainable route, we can see amplification of new opportunities for economic development. Just take one little, you know, example of a, of a statistic. In the U.S. today, you have, you know, less than 80,000 workers in the fossil fuel industry. You have way beyond 150,000 in the solar and wind business. So we, we see this transition into the zero carbon, clean technology development, which, which is ramping up both in terms of modern technology, but also in terms of job creation and innovation. And the interesting is that you get a win-win here because immediately you start recognizing that uh, cities become more livable because the air is clean and more silent. So there's, there's something very interesting occurring here where sustainability is changing face. Up until very recently, sustainability was about protecting and sacrificing. Now sustainability is increasingly about being successful. And that, that's a shift which uh, really, really ingrains a sense of hope despite the sense of, you know, despair or risk.